Need something fresh and new? GoHamRadio.com. Log on, listen, and go ham. This is Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on Go Ham Radio. Hello, hello. It is I, it is him, it is he, Mr. M-I-N-E-D, and you're tuned in to Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on GoHamRadio.com, where we get in depth with the artists, we get their music history, we get their background, music videos, and much more. We get exclusive elevation and grinds. We got Paper Pat today, so please, check us out. Oh, man. Let's get it. Paper Pat to a Paper vision yeah, with that shit too, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it can't be stopped. If I ain't on that shit, then that shit don't knock. Treat these niggas like the ops till they give me they props. You got your game from TV, I got my game from my pop. Be a ball from the pen to that phone call drop. They was inside tweeting, we was bleeding the block. Smoking, freestyling in that photo box. Like 0304 before bro got locked. I was robbing by my struggle, said that shit too high. Put that shit on record, nigga, look who we got. Niggas started talking like bitches, man, I'm seeing you thoughts. Said a wrong thing in your song, that shit will get you shot. Still with the bullshit, still fuck to the cop. Young solid ass nigga, tossed it all in the pot. I'm gon' wrap my ass off till my jaw get locked. In order to strip to this rap shit, I'll get some time from a box. This is Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on Go Ham Radio. Building a bridge between talent and industry. It's GoHamRadio.com. You're tuned in to Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on Go Ham Radio. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we got Paper Pat in the building. Local right. San Diego businessman, artist, and entrepreneur. So we just watched one of your videos, Pat. Can't be stopped. Yeah, that's right. You know, tell me about that. How you know? How do you feel about that video and the process of making that? It was something. You know, I mean, that I put together real quick. Um, originally, had another artist on it. You know. Right. Right. People don't make the cut. <laughs> Shout <laughs> for them. Uh, shit, about it. I, I want to give a you know a more aggressive sound on that. You know, okay. let people know that you know I'm not not playing around. Right. The shit can't be joke. stopped. Right. <laughs> and if I yeah. ain't on the shit, then that shit don't knock. Yeah. Right. I heard it. I heard <laughs> it. Shit. Okay, so we back with Behind the Grind. We got your boy Paper Pat here. So you've been doing some really good things in the town, man. You know, my, one of the main things that I've noticed, because I've known, known about you for a while, is you have doing, you know, hosting the shows. Right. And, you know, putting a lot of the artists in the San Diego on right. and, you know, making that next step. So tell us about how you made that happen and, you know, how you feel about it. Um. I had a, a couple of people reach out to me, Big Grizz, Joey D, about the opportunity to host the Talk of the Town one show. Okay. I'm just getting back in the scene, you know, so I was trying to shake it up and build back up my fan base somehow. And at the same time, I've, I've been around long enough to, to, to see talent, know talent, and, and kind of to pass, pass on the knowledge and torch and, you know, and, and, and let people get the opportunity to, to be the Talk of the Town. You know that was my first host show. You know yeah. we on we on we on eight now. So oh, we, so, so so now I'm a professional host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and not only that, a lot of business opportunities is coming up. Shout out to uh, Nori Entertainment, Big Grizz, and I lose for giving me the opportunity to host there. Okay. okay. Uh, our next event there is Halloween. Halloween Havoc. You know, yeah, so, so make sure uh, y'all put come one of those flyers up. I know you got some. Something to show them. Yeah, that's show that, the people right there. That's the Halloween Havoc. This is going down Halloween night. It's yeah. headlined by my boy Teddy Benson, one okay. of the hottest talking to town artists in the city. Um, at La Luz, 5080 Bonita Road, Archer Lounge. Uh, get with me if you need tickets. Paper Pat, damn near everywhere. Paper Pat 619. Exactly. Uh, Halloween contest. You know, <laughs> tell us about that. Uh, I think we're gonna try to do like the best Halloween contest, best couple, best groups. We're still working it out. Cash right, prize right. Okay. plus gifts. Not only that, we put in the works for some type of haunted house or escape room. So it's going to okay. be the event to be at it's Halloween be the night again. To be on definitely, Halloween, huh? definitely, definitely. That's what's up. That's what's up. So you said that you were born and raised in San Diego. Can you tell us exactly, you know, where, you know, we, uh, and all that? Born, I was I was born actually in New Orleans, in oh, New Orleans, see? Louisiana, late '80s baby. Mm -hmm. The same hospital Wayne was born at, even okay, you know. So, but uh, right. 
So I was I was mistaken. Yeah, I yeah, threw yeah. Up born in born in New Orleans. Orleans. Born in New Orleans, but I, I I'm from San Diego. I okay. spent majority of my life in San Diego. Came over when I was you know preschool, and right. yeah, go back and forth. So yeah, definitely raised in San Diego, San, a San Diego native. So where'd the name Paper Pat come from? Oh, <laughs> uh, Paper Pat. Uh, if you really know me, you know, I used to have a nickname like PJ, you know, me and my cousin Peter and PJ. Right. Um, the older dudes in the neighborhood, they're like, oh, a little paper chaser. I always had a job. I worked barbershop sweeping hair, mm-hmm. worked the candy van. You know what I mean? Always had had some type of hustle. So, you know, the older cats, she's like, paper chaser, a little paper chaser. You know what I mean? And when I right. got into the music stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, Paper Chase Pat, Paper Chase Pat, PCP. Yeah, then, you know, that kind of branched off to Paper Pat, you know, right, Paper right. Pat, two Ps, two P dollar sign. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it, it, it fits me, definitely. It fits me, you know. <laughs> so um, when you were young, you know, um, we hustling in the barbershops and, you know, on your grind, D, what was it that you've seen yourself be? What what did you want to do when you grew up? I just wanted to be, uh, um, how can I say it? I wanted to be uh, comfortable. Huh. I wanted to see my family comfortable. I didn't always want the biggest and best stuff. That wasn't always my outlook, but always to make sure rent's pay, food on the table. You know, my childhood was short, you know? I always right, right. pushed straight into being being a man and taking taking care of my family, you okay. know? But it, I always envisioned myself as being some type of, you know, person that, that actually made it made it in life and, and could give back to my community and things like that. Nothing materialistic like that, but, yeah, I'm still... I'm in, heading in the right direction, you know, step by step. Oh, that's what's up, man. So um, I got my last question before we go into your next video. Um, So how did you start your company, Paper Vision? How did, Paper that, Vision. How did that come about? Because it's something that I wanted to know for Paper a while. Paper Vision, um, I was a hot young artist, you know. Right. There's a lot of record labels out there, you know, and there's a lot of, you know, a lot of like of, like you know right a lot right. of competition stuff like that you know everybody wanted to be from a record label okay. you know, kind of kind of it's kind of like you know I mean you joining up and you kind of giving up your creative aspect of the music industry okay. like it, you know I mean my my whole paper pad paper chase pad I was to jump on something you know what I mean that's <laughs> that doesn't represent me you know so I came up with paper vision it was more of for the people like us you know yeah. people who have like visions to 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 the B places and to, to actually get that loot you know what I mean right. so I mean I broke paper just I got tons of met- metaphors for it but mm-hmm. definitely this is for that you know for that the eye we got for to get getting the job done you know exactly. and that's that's that paper vision so uh um, we going to get into your next video i would like for you to introduce it right um let us know uh you know where they can find it and all okay. that so drop it for us we're the next time. video coming up is money up money up future myself and my bro uh saint earth i think it's one of the hottest videos in the town um y'all check it out My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. The people ain't gon' fuck with you and you ain't got none. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. The people ain't gon' fuck with you and you ain't got none. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. The people ain't gon' fuck with you and you ain't got none. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. The people ain't gon' fuck with you and you ain't got none. Look on my nose, I'ma pass them up. And do it while I'm high as fuck. All black, walking through the night, slinging, making bucks. I'm tired of working nine to fives. I'd rather sell a million dollars. But I told myself a million times that I ain't never giving up. Real recognize, real not reckon that all of these people are fake. All they wanna do is waste a nigga time, but I'm all gas, no brakes. All these niggas hate on me, but I'm just doing my thing. All these niggas hate on me, but they ain't getting no cake. Uh, why you hate? You could be making money. Bitchy nigga, you just out there looking funny. Why you hate? You could be making money. Pussy nigga, you just out there looking funny. Yeah. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. Cause people ain't gon' fuck with you and you ain't got none. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. Cause people ain't gon' fuck with you and you ain't got none. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. Cause people ain't gon' fuck with you and you ain't got none. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. Cause people ain't gon' fuck with you and you ain't got none. 
My daddy told me, nigga, go and get your money up. All the times I was down and now I'm coming up. I still hustle through the night until the morning sun. Still know some bad bitches that's gon' run it for. Still lay a nigga down in my money funny. Now I'm laughing to the bank, call it funny money. And when I was broke, they wasn't fucking with me. So when I get down, I ain't fucking with them. No fuck with lame niggas, we don't talk to cops And we don't let these hoes, we don't trust a lot Lame niggas call you bro, they'll get you shot And I'm still the same niggas, swear I never change Watch who you call your friends, what my mama said It is it in your mind or is it in your heart Before I fuck with you, I gotta know these things My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. Cause people ain't gon' fuck with you when you ain't got none. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. Cause people ain't gon' fuck with you when you ain't got none. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. Cause people ain't gon' fuck with you when you ain't got none. My daddy told me, boy, you better get your money up. Cause people ain't gon' fuck with you when you ain't got none. Oh, he's in there watching this watching the video. Simple, baby, baby. That's how it be. That's how it be though. So welcome back behind the grind, Mr. Mind. We got paper pad in the building. So uh first off, let us know what though what you got on the table. What what CDs you got, you know, what, what you this got for a show a, and explain displaying um, right um, there. Just a few copies of uh projects y'all can go online and check out. Uh I got two albums right now. Well, kind of four albums right now, but two He's albums I'm promoting working. right now. Uh Family Fortune Fame, that's the last project I did. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. Him. All proceeds go to my babies, motivational music, and my first album I ever did by myself, uh Money Over Madness and shit. Y'all make sure this is a Dago classic uh, produced by Joey Dixon. Slap. Also got some jack tapes here, man. The jack tapes volume one. Volume one. Then the jack tapes volume two, right? Hey yo, volume two. So you know he on some multiple. And Mr. Mine is on a, a few of these things, oh, yeah. man. man. You know, so definitely, definitely don't go tell check it out. That. Definitely, definitely, don't definitely. Be about and uh, the jack tapes is on Bandcamp or any uh online, just uh throwing paper pad jack tapes, volume one, volume two, free download. Feel free to leave a donation. Please definitely. do, please do. So um, let's talk about your marketing and uh, promo. Uh, who puts in the work for you or, you know, who does? You Me. Self-marketing, self-promo. You, know? you know, I mean, I know that I studied, studied how to. You know, yeah. that's why you don't see me, like, we're hitting the studio, <laughs> recording a song, and, and, and not giving it that backlash, not giving it that push or putting any money in it. Right, Most right. of these artists nowadays, they, they, they go in the studio, drop a song, and, and go straight straight to the straight to SoundCloud or however they distribute their music. Right, right, right. I mean, I did that shit, you know. I've been in the game for 10 years, so I did have that rush where I want to record and just show people. But now I treat it more as a business, and I, yeah. every song I do is a single. Every song I do, I want to project the income of it. Yeah. So that's how I, I kind of treat my treat my music, definitely. So um, tell us about your fight with cancer. Like, oh. you, know, you know, that, yeah. that you're... I know personally right. two time survivor. Two, so two time cancer survivor. You know, tell us about the struggle, you know, and uh, you know how your mindset at that time. Two time cancer survivor. I would take you back to the first time I got it, um I mean, I don't know nobody. We didn't know. What I mean, our community we come from, we don't know too many people right. with cancer. Yeah. The first time I had cancer, I was just graduating high school and and it shockwave, yeah. me being able to go to college and uh, tons of other things. I couldn't pursue a career. Okay. If I wanted yeah. to go to the military, I couldn't even do that at the time. I didn't have these options, you know. Yeah. Well, first time I did nine cycles of chemotherapy and was put in remission. Wow. Uh, so about eight nine years later, it came back stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma, and um, I wasn't I wasn't ready financially. I was at the you know what I mean prime of my life, but right. I didn't have little stuff to back me like medical insurance uh -huh. or even health insurance. And yeah. I actually after you know come out the pocket, you know in the beginning because insurance company wasn't messing with me because I mean if you look at it like this, it's like if 
if I'm asking you for $1,000 or exactly. millions, it's millions though with the cancer. Right. But, you know, my, I mean, the, it's 100 bucks for medical insurance or more. You know, my, you know, it's like to the point where you can't, you know, can't, you know, survive. Man. So I learned the hard way. I heard, learned that you got to protect your, your money. Yeah. But not only that, you got to protect yourself. It's easy to go get medical insurance. You know, yeah. definitely. I was running around thinking like I'm the, you know, healthiest person in the world. Right. I mean, at the time I was and shit, you know, every time I found out I had cancer, I was the prime yeah, of my yeah. life. But, you know, these doctors, these American doctors yeah. and American medicines, the only option they tell you is, you know, chemo or, you know I mean, wait it out till you die. You right, know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah um, I mean, I did a stem cell transplant back in 2015. I'm in remission. Right now, my scans has been coming in clean. I just try to eat healthy, though. But yeah. definitely, I want to educate my people about cancer and other diseases and stuff like that. And definitely to to, to get medical insurance and health insurance, protect your family. Right. Because this this stuff they don't teach us in school coming up. This is the, the last thing they they actually bring up. You know, I can't remember ever. You know, talking medical, insurance. talking medical insurance <laughs> right. or life insurance, or but but money, but, but that's in our community though. Yeah. There's other communities where these kids are, are they set know. up for life. They're set up with inheritance. They're set up with straight from high school or colleges and stuff like that. Right, and, right. and where we from, we have to work for it. Scholarships and shit like that. You know paper what I mean? vision, definitely paper right, vision. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, um, how has your life changed since your battle? You know, since your last um, definitely. Treatment? Change, I change, I change, yeah. I change every day. I'm changing every day, learning every day. Um, Post-cancer, I was, you know, I attracted more of the negative people. Okay. You know, I entertained more of the negative. It was cool, you know. It was right. cool to say some fuck shit and, you know what I mean? I lived that life, though, you know. Yeah. I, I entertained that life. That was my right, lifestyle. Right. But uh, having a disease like cancer... It, that type of lifestyle and cancer don't run one right, and one. Right, right, the people exactly. I'm surrounded around myself, they want to turn up and party, drink, do drugs. You know what I mean? And then that that, that wasn't part of my life anymore. Okay. I was, you know, I was trying to fight for my life. So you see the people that you thought was there, you know, start to disappear. Right. Gone. Most of them excuses like I don't know, you know, when you could be there. And I, you know, it's like, right. you know, so I learned how. To 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 respect myself, right. respect the people. Then I learned that the things that I say, it's I, like I have a voice, you know. <laughs> right. And I like you know. So post cancer, I mean, you know, I, I chose to be more positive with life right. because I was not appreciated my life before it at all, you know. Okay. So I definitely appreciate more, definitely enlightening people and let them know that it's. You know, I mean, it's a, a better way to live life, you yeah. know. We all stuck in this box and and, and it's negativity 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 you know yeah. and i was stuck in i was stuck in that box and when i had a life threatened you know thing i can't those negative people can't help me they can't give me no words of encouragement right. so it kind of reset everybody that yes. i thought i was friends with you know what i mean yeah. then after that i'm back you know what i mean getting healthy and there's still people that do negative things or think think negative yeah you know and that that all has a toll on, on your life the way you live so I learned to, you know what I mean, like, you know, like, kind of not like, I want to say pick and choose my friends, but, right. you know, like. That's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> and, and it, and it, and it got to be like that, you know. You got to, like, surround right. yourself with more likely people like you and people mm -hmm. that want to see you succeed and people Thank that you. are succeeding in life. Because, I mean, the majority of our peers, you know what I mean, they think the wrong things is the right thing. Yeah. You know, so, you know. Well, yeah, give me opportunity, a second chance to to get it right in all all aspects of life. You know, yeah, definitely. that's what's up. So when you say about getting it all right in as all aspects, aspects, you would say like your businesses that you've started. Let's talk about you know definitely. some of the different things that you have created yeah. since you know these. Definitely, I'm a, I'm a creative mind, so. Um, I have tons of business ideas. <laughs> like right. I showed you guys some earlier, the lamps and the yeah, bongs. Exactly. That let's, I, talk, let's talk about that, how you got started uh, doing that. In. Time that okay. I thought I had. Right. <laughs> ideas, you know, I right. see something that I wanted to do. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I want to make a lamp out of a Henny bottle. Okay. Then it got for me looking into it, like, how can I blast through glass without cracking it? Like, what's the right heat source? How much water, the temperature of the water it right, is right. to make my idea come come you know, to life. So a majority was trial and error, you know, yeah. trial and error. Like you can't just 
open up glass without breaking it, you know yeah. what I mean? So I figured out the, the do's and the don'ts. Yeah. And uh, it's a business that I'm sitting on now right, right now. Right. 2019 is going to be big for me because I'm ex all my businesses, I'm going to get them on the forefront of right. everything. We and, got them, I, I and got them give geckos jobs, coming. Give jobs to the geckos, <laughs> definitely breeding geckos. Be yeah. on the lookout for that. Cold yeah, game check geckos. Um, and this promoting thing, like I'm right. building a promoting team and, 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 and I'm doing more more outside promotion, okay. more ways to generate a, a solid fan base, how it used to be where we're outside and with material like this, but right. I, have, I have bigger ideas, you know, right. where we can go door to door, like the pizza man. Right. And these are things I created for myself and tested them out yeah. and, and, and know they were. Trial and error. Trial and error. Right. And that's one of my beneficiaries, you know, get my promotion, promotional company started. Okay. And, you know, get this paper vision. My clothing line is coming back, you know, so y'all be on the lookout yeah, for that. Yeah, that one actually is real clean, <laughs> though. And um, is there anything that you want to get involved in or you're, you know, have hopes of making happen, you know what I'm saying, in, in the future? Like, what would you, is there something that you like, want to stamp like, bam, this is what I want to do? A lot of stuff. Yeah. 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 So, so much stuff Pick I want to do. <laughs> Pick um, one. Tell the, tell the people one of the, one of the ideas that you have that you want to do we don't know about. Ideas, I mean, you know, I, I want to be an advocate for the cancer society, you know, but, you know, it's, it's not too many of me's. It's not too many African American young men who have, lived that life and, yeah. and defeated the cancer to tell the story or to help other people you know so, so that's one right. of my target goals uh, i want to get back to the youth you know right right just to inform them education wise to protect themselves in all outlets because i mean we were being black we born yeah <laughs> right, it's, right. It's, being born is a challenge <laughs> so i want to let them know like you know these there's there's ways to to to, to live your life college is Something you know you might right. want to do. I mean, it's you know it's <laughs> different it's outlets than the outlets that we had. Right, coming right. up, it was it was no option. You know, you either sell drugs, gang bang, or try to play sports. Uh -huh. You know, and if you ain't good, and if you ain't good, <laughs> you already too you you nigga you too late to get you too late to gang bang now. <laughs> Oh, man. So it's a, it's a stigma. I'm trying to fix that stigma. Yeah. Definitely in San Diego, I want to get everybody together with, with unity, you know. That's why I push, like, things like the talk of the town. Okay. That's why when you see me post, it's always something, something positive. positive. Right. That's why every Monday I do Motivational Monday, and I haven't, yeah. haven't missed a Monday. This is stuff that I dedicate my time time to to, to enlighten people. Right. Because I can easily go in there and say something. And you know they waiting for you. Wait, wait. They waiting for, for you. They, they the waiting best for it. Miss one of the yeah, Mondays. They waiting for it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I'm telling you. But the, 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 the best part about it is, like, sometimes I, I feel it goes unnoticed. Like, yeah. You know, but then it, it's it those doesn't. people that reach out to me on days and like, Pat, you don't understand how you just, I needed to hear that. Right, right. And, and that, that's what drives me. But you know, I got petty ass thoughts too. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, everybody got that. And I'm like, it's so, somebody of those petty people. But I'm, I'm, it's, 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 it's more of a challenge to be positive. It makes Motivational Monday definitely, mean something more to you, you know? Because I'm taking that time to be more positive, definitely. even though I do have the definitely. same worldly thoughts. Same worldly thoughts, same same issues. Yeah. But it's the way that we have to look at our issues. Definitely, like, I had to learn it going through cancer. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I thought, yeah. like, oh, I go through an issue. I'm thinking life is hard. We used to, you know, go go from check to check, yeah. you know. And I learned, like, you know, it's a, like if you live in check to check, you have to add an additional hustle for your, uh -huh. your entertainment and things like that. Yeah, you got to. But definitely having cancer, it, it, it opened me up to, to, to life, though, definitely. Well, um, where can the people find your music? Where can they find your Instagram? Where can they find your stuff? Tell the people where they can Look, find yeah, you. I'm going to hit you with the, I guess it's popular to say it's on all platforms, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody said, right? Right, right. I used, to, I used to be like, Google me back in the day, right? Right. And my music is everywhere. Um, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, on all digital platforms, from Spotify to iTunes to Google Play, right. uh, YouTube. Not only that, like uh, my fans that I really rock with, like I like if they like, oh, I like this, but I don't want to, you know, purchase it. Like, shoot me your email. I send you, I send you songs all the time to let you get the first first right. look of it. Definitely, exactly. definitely. But and, any, any movies, platforms, type in Paper Pad, please show me some love. Put the like up. Listen to it, stream it. Well, thank you again for your time today, you know, for coming in, ch checking us out at Go Ham Radio. Appreciate we're you. We're going to take a quick break. Appreciate Go Ham. And when we, we return, we're going to have a live performance from Paper Pat. Ay, so ay, please ay, stay ay. tuned, and we will be right back. That's what I'm talking about. 
What up, though? It's Mr. Mind, and you're tuned in to Behind the Grind. GoHamRadio.com, the culture's newest hype. Log on, listen, and go ham. <laughs> you're tuned in to Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on Go Ham Radio. This is a GoHamRadio.com exclusive. Rockin' with a nigga Like this one's for you 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 This song's for my niggas This one's for my bitches This is for my down fans Rockin' with a nigga Like this song's for you You Yeah This one's for you You this song's for my niggas, this one's for my bitches, this is for my down fans, rockin' with a nigga, like this song's for you, 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 yeah, this one's for you, you, you. Like this is for my goons, for my niggas that'll shoot, for the deep boys in the trap, stay bustin' the moves.
This has been a GoHamRadio.com exclusive. Yo, it is I, it is he, it is him. Thank you again, Paper Pat, for checking us out. Truly appreciate you coming to Go Ham Radio. You know, check us again. Check out all his music on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, all of the platforms. Also, check us, check them out on Go Ham Radio. We got you right here. We uh, go ham or go home. <laughs> also check us out behind the grind next week with Mr. M I N E D, yours truly, and we're gonna have another artist. Thank you again, and tune in to Go Ham Radio. Oh yeah, we got the last video. Check that bullshit at the door. Me and Paper Pat, Uh-oh. you know, Uh-oh. something that we've been Uh-oh. working on. You can also check us out in Oakland coming up in October. So uh, we really make it happen. 21st. Oakland, California, Paper Pat, Mr. Mind, check that bullshit at that the door. door. Holler at us for copies because we got a little, a little mixtape we pushing off for the rest of the summer. So, yeah, get, so get it, get it. Check that bullshit at the door. Shit don't phase me. Jokes. Mr. Mind on Go Ham Radio. This segment has been brought to you by GoHamRadio.com.